Hi folks, Michael Neff, Director of Gear Sports, and today we're going to do a short video on marker position, where to put the markers on the, av on the, on the player athlete to, uh, to do the capture correctly. This is Chance Mansfield, he's uh, um, customer service here for us at Gears, and uh, he's going to help me out here. So, uh, but let's go through the standard. This is the standard Gears marker set. There's 26 markers, and it's really important that we know where to put these. After you put the suit on, um, we're going to put uh, right, basically right on top of the joint. So you're going to find the elbow, the wrist joint. We're going to put that there. This one right here. We want to put this at the elbow joint, not at the base of the elbow, not up here, but this is basically where the center of the elbow joint is on this side and this side. We want to put this marker right there. This marker right here is what we call kind of a, a skeleton marker. It's not for joint uh, measurement. It's just basically to help create the tracking of the skeleton. And this basically is going to go on the tricep. A lot of times people have a tendency to put this too far underneath the armpit like this. So it's really important that we don't get that on there. This marker right here, this is the AC joint. You basically want to put it right on top of that AC joint like that. Okay. In the back and then on the other side, you're going to do the same thing on the other side. On this back here, it's about right where that goes. And then these markers right here go on the basically the center of the scapula, which is going to be somewhere about right in here. And you want to match that to the other side. These markers right here go at the base of the scapula, right here. Okay, these tricep markers you want to kind of match up with, uh, like when they're in this A pose here. Go ahead and stand right there, like kind of arm straight, like that's an A pose. You're basically trying to line up these, you know, relatively square. We'll do the same on the other side here. Make sure that when you uh, use the wrist markers that you uh, strap this around the wrist so that it doesn't uh, get too loose. So this is the top, okay? Now the belt. Um, we do have an option of a, a band that kind of goes around the belt, um, but this is really the best way to do it if you can. It's basically we, in the, system, in the suit you have, or in the, in the kit that we sent you, uh, you have two sizes, large and small, and the large will fit pretty pretty much anybody, but um, um, you can just kind of run it through the belt loop. And uh, the markers, these are basically for positioning, but these need to go basically right below the hip, right above the hip joint. So that usually ends up being right around the seam of the pant. And then these can be kind of in this order, they could be a little closer, but usually about maybe five or six inches apart. And then the same on this one right here, right, basically right above the hip joint. The knee joint, again, this, this little guy right here, you, uh, you basically strap this, you want this really tight, and you wanna put this right in the center of that knee joint, like that, and then do the same for the opposite, okay? Probably the hardest, oh, let me show you this real quick. This is a new, this is a new thing that we've come out with that basically a lot of women don't have belt loops. So, and sometimes guys come in and girls come in where they're not, where they're wearing sweats or shorts or something like that, and they don't have belt loops. So this is what you'll get, what you're going to need for that. And it's just like a little cummerbund wraps right around. And you want to get this really tight. And one thing you could do is just kind of use a little paper clip or a little alligator clip to clip that to the pant. This won't move very much, but the goal of the, the, waist, the waist marker is we really can't have that moving, and that's why we really like the belt loops. So I would still highly suggest that you encourage those who are coming to make sure they have belt loops and um, use the belt. But this is another option for you. Um, you just want to make sure that this is super tight and it's not going to move on you. So that's that. Now, the feet. The feet are probably the hardest thing in gears. Uh, for those of you who are new to gears, it takes a little while at first to kind of get the hang of, you know, what, where to put things and, you know, get the suit on. You kind of learn how you get the hang of it and you can do it really fast. But you'll kind of notice here that the feet, there's kind of one side doesn't really look like the other. And in your suit, you have a, a large and a small, um, so you have enough to basically cover you, but you'll see that this little strap here 
This little T is for the ankle. So this is the marker is going to go on the outside ankle. And basically what you do is you just kind of put this over the, you put this over their toe. You put this around the back of the heel first, like that. Then you wrap this around the leg. And again, this is always going to be a right foot. And then this little guy right here is going to go underneath the shoe. And you want that really tight. And that's how basically the shoe ends up looking. So I'm going to put that on right now. Right into the toe holder first, go around the back. Then you're going to go around the pant leg like such. Then you're going to use this one and go underneath the foot. This marker, you're going to find the ankle bone. Okay. These two markers right here, you basically want to put right at the base of the big toe and right at the base of the mini, the small toe. So they're going to be about this far apart and they're going to be slightly angled for that. Same with the left foot, same with the right foot. You'll see it's just the opposite side for the right foot. It's going to come in like so. Go around the back. Around the leg. And underneath the foot. And then this marker goes on the ankle joint. Okay. The hat. Um, you'll see that the hat, you don't have to use our hat. Um, our hat is Velcro friendly, but you can get magnets and put one of the base stem markers from the clubs on that magnet or glue one of these. You can kind of cut this up and cut the base up and glue it to the top of a magnet. That way you can put it on a hat like with a good strong magnet. That way they don't have to keep washing or wearing your hat. You can just use any hat. Again, we just don't want any refl retro reflective markings on that hat. But you'll see that the hat is one marker right over the left ear one on top and then one in the center of the brim. Okay, and you want the hat to be snug so it's not moving around. Um, women oftentimes come in and they have hair in the back uh, that's coming down. Um, it's super important that we don't get this marker blocked by hair. So you're gonna have to figure out a way for them to kind of put their hair in a bun or weave it into the hat somehow. Um, but you got to be creative maybe a little bit just to make sure that we don't get the hair blocking that, that marker right there. The T pose is we want the shoulders to be, uh, the arms to be as straight as possible, the head straight as possible, and the feet are basically slightly a, a little bit wider apart, like so, just like that. Now go ahead and turn around for me, Chance. You can kind of see. This is going to be a very, very good uh, skeleton. And what oftentimes happens, uh, sometimes with kids, uh, this part gets super loose and these markers can get really close together and that can cause some problems. So you want to make sure that, you know, when you're, when you have the suit on that you, uh, on your suit, to use the tightest suit that you have. Uh, we don't want the markers to move independent of the player. So lots of times if they, if your player wears an extra large shirt, you probably want them to wear a large suit which makes sure that that's nice and tight. Um, so always kind of go one size down if you can, or just you want the suit to be tight, snug to their body. Um, you can use skin markers. We do sell them. If you don't want to have your athlete in clothes, you can use skin markers. Uh, that takes a long time to set up, and uh, the skin markers are tricky because of sweat. Uh, this is a very fast way to do accurate motion capture, and. Um, but you need to make sure that these markers are in the right position. Again, gears, it needs to know the right number of markers and it needs to know that they, and it needs to be in the, in the right positions for it to, to calibrate properly. So anyways, that is how you place the markers on the body.